Hi, this video is on sound intensity and it relates to Young and Friedman's University Physics, Chapter 16, which is on sound and the third section. Okay, so sound intensity. Sound intensity is the rate at which energy is transferred across some area, some surface, uh, as, as the uh, force emanates from, you know, a sound source. Um, what is the average rate at which energy is transferred across a surface perpendicular to the direction of propagation? Basically, we're talking about power, um, and intensity is the average power that is, you know, transferred over time. Uh, as it turns out, uh, this the relationship of this power as you get further away from the source is one over r squared. That is, as for each r squared, um, one over that basically is how the um, the intensity decreases as it travels out from the source. Now. Power also equals force times velocity. You may remember from mechanics a long time ago in a faraway place. And so we, we actually have an equation from earlier in this chapter about the pressure uh, of, of, a, of a sound, say. Um, and we have an equation from previous chapters about the velocity of a wave. So if force is uh, P being force, uh, BKA sine of KX minus omega T, and if the velocity uh, is omega a sine of kx minus omega t. And if we multiply these two together, we have a formula for the power. It's a bit messy. So there's the power times the, um, the velocity. And we group the terms and we get this horrendous equation. You know, good equations tend to be elegant. These equations aren't very elegant, which makes me feel like surely there's another way we could express this. But anyway, on average, you know that the sine sine goes back and forth between 1 and 0. So the sine squared is going to be um, 1 half on average. Uh, and so basically we're left with uh, this. Uh, the intensity equals 1 half uh, the bulk modulus omega k amplitude squared. Okay, so uh, you, this can be rearranged using some of the formulas that we've, uh, that we've been using. Omega equals uh, velocity times k. Uh, and the velocity squared equals the bulk modulus over the, the density. Um, and so we end up with this equation. Again, not very elegant, uh, but doing, using a little algebra, the intensity equals 1 half the square root of rho b times omega squared amplitude squared. Uh, okay, so again, that sure doesn't look elegant as many other equations, but uh, we'll deal with it. So um, how do we how do we find the relationship between the intensity and the pressure amplitude? Well, we have this equation from the previous slide, right? Well, if we remember that the maximum pressure, that is the, the pressure amplitude equals the bulk modulus times the constant K times the amplitude, then, and, and we use these other two equations I just mentioned, omega equals velocity times K, and the velocity squared equals the bulk modulus over rho, so we can shuffle around and we end up with basically a whole bunch of different variations uh, on the pressure the relationship between intensity and pressure amplitude. And again, which, which equation you use depends on basically what, what you're given and what you're not given. Uh, so uh, the intensity can be expressed as omega times the maximum uh, the pressure amplitude squared over 2bk, or it could be the velocity times the square of the pressure amplitude over 2b, or it can be the uh, pressure amplitude squared over two rho v, or it could be the pressure amplitude squared over two square root of rho v. Again, all of this is just using algebra to rearrange uh, things away to get uh, around to get you whatever equation is going to work best given the variables that you've been given. Okay, so there you have some stuff on intensity. Uh, this this section also talks about the decibel scale. You may have heard at some point about decibels. Um, you know, what the intensity of the decibels are. Um, the human ear, you know, is going to, your, your eardrums would rupture at a certain decibel uh, level. Uh, and then at a, at a low decibel level, you wouldn't be able to hear it at all. Um, so basically, uh, before we talk about the decibel scale, uh, we need to do a very quick review of logarithms. So if I talk about the log of x, what I mean is the power to which 10 needs to be raised to get x. Um, so whenever you have log logarithm with nothing written underneath it, um, you, sh you, you should assume that the log base is 10. We, we, you know, we have 10 fingers 
And so we've, we've come to think in terms of 10. It doesn't have to be that way. I suppose that there could be a Martian with three fingers um, that could think in base three. Uh, of course, computers think in base two, in binary. Um, but anyway, um, I think maybe the universe thinks in base E, the natural uh, logarithm, 2.718281828 to infinity uh, stuff. Anyway, but um, we use these logs uh, as a convenient scale. Logs, like earthquakes, are measured on a logarithmic scale. This, this allows us to, uh, to, to cover large um, differences rather than having simple units, one, two, three, four, five, when you're, when you're dealing with, with vast uh, tracks of numbers, logarithmic scales are, are helpful. That's why uh, we use it for the sound scale because you can cover a wide range of sounds um, using smaller numbers by using the logarithmic scale. So the log of x is basically the power uh, that 10 needs to be raised uh, in order to get x. So the log is the power. Okay, so um, if 10 to the first power equals 10, which it does, then the log of 10 is 1 because 1 is the power to which we need to raise base 10 uh, in order to get 10. I've always found this a little confusing, but it makes sense. So here's a, here's a more general way of saying it. If a to the n equals x, then the log base a of x equals n. Again, n the, the, the answer to the log is the power. The log is the power. So um, a is the base because it's, it's the, the number which is being raised to n. And then x is the result of raising it to that power. So the log of, it's basically, you're taking the, you're going from the result to try to find the power. The log of x is basically the power to which I had to raise the base in order to get that, in order to get that result. The log of the result is the power to which I had to raise the base. It's a little, I've always found this a little confusing. Just, you know, do it, you know, do it for several months and it'll, it'll come out. Okay, so this, the sound intensity equation, again, to tailor an intensity scale that can cover a wide range of sounds, uh, an intensity scale that can cover the range of the human ear, a logarithmic scale decibel scale, Bell, after Alexander Graham Bell, remember him? Uh, Watson, come here now, you know, the telephone. Um, and so the sound intensity level is beta in decibels, and it's related to the, the logarithm of the ratio of the intensity, which is what we were talking about earlier in this video, to a reference intensity. And the reference intensity, uh, I0, uh, the reference intensity is 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter square, okay? So, um, this, this intensity, reference intensity is basically the threshold of the human ear, 1000 hertz, when we can begin to hear sound. So, so basically we're, re we're, we're, we're referencing the intensity of a sound to the intensity that our human ear can begin to hear stuff. And we're taking the logarithm of that. Um, and so here's the formula. So beta, the sound intensity level in decibels, is 10 decibels times the logarithm of this ratio, and there you have it. Uh, this is this is where you how you figure out um, logarithms. So so basically, um, if if I equaled the threshold of human hearing, if I equaled I zero, then we would have the log of one. Um, and so, what power do we have to raise ten to get one? Well, zero. And so, uh, log I over I O is zero. Um, at the threshold of human hearing. 10 decibels times zero is zero. So beta equals zero is the threshold of human hearing. And there you have it. Thank you very much.